my name is Jake. I like to sew and generally make stuff. In about three weeks, actually a bit less than three weeks, I'll be going on a trip to Scotland with family. I've already sewn a pair of trousers for that that I'll be shooting whilst I'm out there, uh, which are tartan trousers, so they'll be in theme. As I said, I've got about three weeks to make this bag. So yeah, I need to get moving. But I'm planning on making a backpack out of leather scraps that I've got that my dad gave to me from an old uh, armchair. So it's pretty cool leather. Uh, it's got a nice patina to it. Um, I've already made actually uh, a couple of things with it uh, that you'll be able to find on my Instagram. Uh, actually, one of them was a bag itself, a satchel. And for the main body, I'll be making it out of this canvas, this cotton canvas that I got um, a while back. These are some scraps. I've made a couple of aprons with this. Uh, it's some pretty basic but cool material. It's quite resistant. And then just for the rest, I've got bits and pieces here. Uh, some leather cord. Uh, yeah, some more leather cord that will be uh, act as a uh, mesh on the front of the bag. Um, I've also got different metal pieces just for the straps. So the first step is obviously designing the bag itself. I'm going to go for something pretty basic. Uh, just a rectangular shape uh, in two parts. Uh, so that's just going to be basically a square box. Uh, the bag itself won't be lined. The lower part will be just a, another leather box. So that would be made out of that armchair leather I spoke about earlier. First things first, I need to get my hair out of the way. Sorted. All right, excuse the mess. The first thing I obviously need to do is trace out the different bits and pieces. Actually, before I trace out the leather, I'll just cut out the canvas. Okay, so that's the main body done. I'll now have to do everything in leather. So I went ahead and created a net from the, my bag. Uh, I didn't show it on camera because the process was extremely long and uh, a bit messy, to be honest. I'm not that happy with it, but I did actually try this twice and I can't really seem to get it any better than this. So I think it'll be all right once it's stretched out in the bag. Um, and yeah, this is just basically a leather cord that I bought today. Uh, it's about seven meters long, I think. So that's for like a quite a small net. I uh, had just enough um, to right size, so that's lucky. But yeah, I'll then, so all I'm gonna create is a two bands or four bands of leather that'll go around it, just to make it uh, a little more uh, solid and to give it something that I can then uh, basically hook onto the bag with. I'm just attaching the net now to a leather frame. And to do that, I've just cut out these little strips of leather that I'm basically uh, riveting onto to the frame. All right, so it's now been uh, about a day. I've prepared quite a few more pieces for the bag. Um, I mainly basically finished up the back. I've added this little uh, like extra piece at the bottom of the bag here, just so that I can firstly insert the armor or the bag structure into it here. And then the other end will go into the flap at the top. I am actually hesitating to just be able to basically just slip this into the um, the main sort of padding of the bag itself, just because, well, first of all, it fits pretty nicely and it means that I won't have this metal piece against my back directly. Uh, I'm going to use this now to build up, to insert the straps that I'll attach with a rivet and some hand stitching there. I've prepared my buckles, two buckles there. 
Now I've just got to do, finish off the, the, the straps here, attach these buckles. Okay, so now we have the more complex part, which is the sewing. Right, so that's one uh, buckle done. Basically, I'll be able to insert the excess, uh, the excess strap through there and then behind that. I'll just do the other one now. Okay, so I'm now gonna glue these straps together. Okay, so I've almost finished uh, attaching the back to the front. Just hand stitching the last parts here, as you can see. I've sewed on the side pockets, and then I'll just need to finish off this side stitch along here. So it makes sure the flaps all nicely closed up and tied to the side there. And uh, yeah, then I'll need to attach the bottom. And then there'll just be a few more bits and pieces to finish it up and that, that'll be it. All right, so I'm basically done with the bag, except I attach the final strap on properly. I've got this buckle here that I just basically did two holes through the strap and then just, um, bent that into place and then here I've got the little buckle strap, that, well metal buckle strap there that it inserts into. Um, I've sewn up the sides, the back, I inserted some uh, rivets here, well not rivets but um, just eyelets basically so that I could tighten up the bag when I wanted to. I've done like a little leather uh, tightener here, I don't know if that'll hold in the long term because the, the leather might stretch out but I can always replace it. And now I'm just creating button snaps for the pockets. Fix those in place. 